Hey, Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols, and I'm here to bring you your Nichols words. And today we are featuring the indexed version of the King James Sovereign from Thomas Nelson. So let's take a look. It comes in a little cheap slipcase cover. It does come in a little bit better of a box if you get the genuine leather, which um, I'll kind of do a little comparison here. But you know the Sovereign, what it's all about. It's to restore the reality and the beauty of the King James. And the leather soft covers actually are pretty good. I don't mind these at all. Now here is a look at the genuine leather. And you will notice that it's kind of stiff a little bit. It is edge line, but the edge line is really puny. But for the price range, you can't beat this. These, you can get these for around 30 bucks. So really just can't beat it for the price. And of course it has a very uncanny resemblance to the Canterbury, which is probably on purpose. So you know, you'll notice this one has some tool work. They do the raised hubs on the spine, even in the cheaper ones. So I think that is a really good touch gold gilding to kind of have that old look and it is embossed a bit so that is actually really impressive even the word holy bible it's embossed in there a bit so it's not going to be as easy to rub off perimeter stitching i mean for a 30 dollar bible this looks really nice corners look good it's paste down liner it might have some reinforcement there but look, you're not buying this bible because you want it to last 100 years you're buying this bible because it's 30 bucks so anyhow what makes this one stand apart is it has the indexes now, one thing I noticed on these indexes, and I've actually seen a couple others that seem to have the same issue, is that the hole punch didn't quite get it smooth. So if you will check that out, it just looks a little funky. Now, I'm going to grab another index, and I'm going to show you how they're supposed to look. They're supposed to look nice and smooth like this. So I don't know what happened there. I don't know if maybe this was just a few of them that were that way. I know Thomas Nelson and Zondervan, both from HarperCollins Christian, are usually phenomenal about everything that they do. So this could just be a fluke, but it could be the entire run. So uh, you may want to look into that before you buy one of these for a rebind. But anyhow, when you get into the New Testament, you will notice the red letters. And the red letters do look a little light on this, but they're not. Just cover up that drop cap, and you will notice they look just as dark as any other red on the comfort print. That dark, uh, that dark, dark red is so concentrated in that drop cap that it just kind of makes that red look lighter, but it's more of an illusion than it is a reality. Of course, it's got your cross references and your footnotes. I really wish if they were gonna go with the traditional look that they go ahead and put the cross references in the middle. I know a lot of people don't like center references, but I think it's really important to separate your notes from your references because it can be kind of difficult to separate the two. When I want to cross-reference, I want to be able to find it simply. I don't want to have to sort through notes. When I want my notes, I don't want to have to sort through references. So I do think that was kind of a miss with Thomas Nelson, but I also understand why they did it because this is a 9.5 font. They want to cram as much area in there with the text as they can to make that font as big as possible. Not a lot of margin space. Of course, it would be useless with, a, with an index. So the index was a great idea, and I think it could be really useful. Another thing about the index that, that I wish I could would see a lot more publishers do is not to put four in there because it's almost not helpful. Because let's say I'm looking for Colossians. Okay, if I'm looking for Colossians, then I'm in Galatians. I guess I could go here and kind of work my way back, but I'd like to see them put two, no more than three indexes on here. So anyhow, this is a good buy. But if you're gonna do a rebind, I almost wouldn't take the gamble with the indexes. I would almost just go ahead and buy one without. But for the price, even if you bought it and you decided, you know, um, I want to get this rebound, but I don't like those indexes. Worst case scenario, you're stuck with a really nice Bible that doesn't have the most beautiful indexes. And you've only got 30 bucks in it. And it looks similar to a Canterbury. So, you know, a Canterbury can cost in excess of $200. You can get this for 30 and have pretty much the same layout other than it has the chapter indexes. There's some other subtle differences here and there. I'll link that a... Uh, the review of the previous edition that I reviewed earlier in the description. Meanwhile, keep calm. See you soon. This is your Nicholas Worth.